This is a file I picked up from a trade show recently. It's a parasolid text file. And uh, what you can see is I've opened it up in Pro Engineer. And the problem is uh, that we have to try and fix is we have some asymmetrical uh, inverted ribs. They're actually drafted on most of the surfaces. And you see it's brought into ProE as a single ProE feature. So uh, there's a couple of ways we could handle this. I spoke to a couple of the ProE experts that I work with. Uh, they suggested a, a series of extrusions, possibly, uh, or some sort of complex capping surface to uh, enclose all of the geometry that we need to fill in. So I don't use ProE every day. It's going to take me quite a while to work out uh, exactly what to do. So I decided to open it up in SpaceClaim and see if uh, I could get things done a little quicker. So the same file there, you can see it's the Parasolids file. I'm opening that up. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, because I'm not worried about the history tree or any of the features, I can simply just start selecting on surfaces and pulling them around. So I grab this surface here, I pull that right across using the pull up to, and I sel selected the other surface there as my up to surface. And I'll do another pull of that surface I just created uh, just to get rid of most of the, the back end geometry. So there's some fairly simple use cases there of pulling up to. Uh, the, after that point, I did some pulling to depth. And uh, you'll see here, as I rotate the model around, I'm just going to select this little surface here and pull that to a quick depth of 2. Uh, here I have it snapping on uh, 1 millimeter increments, but uh, you know that, that that's what worked for me in this case. Uh, so I pulled that to a depth, I pulled that to a depth. And basically, you can see that the geometries follow al along at each, uh, at each time. So I started with simple cases, and I worked, uh, worked on. So basically, what you can do is you can either specify uh, the behavior, or you can use the left-hand uh, pull options menu to uh, be more specific of exactly what you want to do. So the final thing I'm doing here is I'm control selecting each of the bottom surfaces of those little pockets. And then I'll do a power select to go and grab all of the depressions at once. So I can see three depressions there. I'll just select each of those and then fill those in to finish up my model. And uh, there you go there. There's the final result. That's exactly what we were looking for. So it was able to save me a lot of time uh, by using space claims and intuitive tools.